Hello my dudes, my name is Leah and today I'm bringing you my Pan Those Eyeshadows Project Pan Introduction for 2023. This project pan was created by Alexi, I'll have her channel linked down below and at the end of this video. So I've been doing this project for three years now. This is going to be the fourth year doing this project and every year I've done it pretty much the same, just your standard randomly generating a shade out of your entire collection. But at the end of last year, I was starting to feel a little bit burnt out by this project, even though I love it so much. So I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So this year, I'm going to be following along with my friend Lainey here on YouTube. Her channel is Makeup with Lainey. I'll have her channel linked down below and at the end of this video as always. But she created a really fun twist to this project pan where she created a list of 100 different prompts and she randomly generated a prompt rather than an eyeshadow and that way you get to choose your own eyeshadow but you do still have the randomly generated prompt so it is still somewhat random so this is a really fun twist in my opinion and I think it's gonna refresh to this project for me and just make it a little more fun and exciting. So I'm really excited to be following along with Lainey this year and doing her style of pan those eyeshadows. I absolutely loved watching her last year do this project pan. And honestly, Lainey is just a, such a wonderful human. We're doing the Duty Pan My Battleship project together and I just wanted to support her with her version of this project and join along with her. So that's what I'm going to be doing for this year. So Lainey did create 100 prompts as I mentioned previously. Some of those prompts are actually repeating and I'm going to be doing her original prompt list with the 100 different prompts. I will later add in some of my own prompts but I haven't had the chance to do that yet. I did talk to Lainey and she said that I could add in some of my own prompts if I wanted to so I do have her permission to do that but I'm gonna wait a little bit later in on the year until I start doing that. I wanna just start off with her original 100 prompt list. So how I'm going to be structuring this project this year is I'm going to drop my number of eyeshadows that I'm working on down to four. Typically I do five eyeshadows, however, I am working on quite a few eyeshadow palette planning project pans right now. I do have another one coming up here really soon. So I just want to drop it down to four to make it a little bit more manageable and that way I can kind of rotate through my eyeshadows a little more quickly. I will also be bringing back my usage goal that I had last year of 15 uses. That worked really well for me. I think it's a good number to where I can get some good use on shadows that I know I'm not going to be hitting pan on. However, I am typically trying to hit pan in this project since that's what this project is about. So that's pretty much all the rules. Last year I did have a focus palette in this project and I am kind of doing that again. It's going to be a soft focus palette if you will. Um, I'm not always going to have an eyeshadow from my focus palette in, in the project, but I do want to bring out my Nomad Cosmetics Shanghai Ying Ying palette into this project as much as I can. Um, I'm not actively trying to finish the whole palette, but I don't have any pans in this palette yet. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, this one in the corner here, that gold shade, it completely shattered, so that's why there's a giant pan in there, but um, I didn't actually use any of these shadows yet to the point of hitting pan. And this was a palette that um, got discontinued. It was deemed to be culturally appropriating, and I didn't know that before I bought it. So I just want to get some use out of it and eventually declutter it from my collection. I do really like the quality of the eyeshadows in here but it's just something I want to slowly work out in my collection. So I'm gonna bring it in this project when the prompt fits, but it's not a huge focus palette where I'm gonna try and hit pan on every shade in it. I just wanna bring it in as often as I can. So you might notice that this palette will be a frequent flyer in this project, but I just wanted to quickly mention that. So I think that's all the rules I have to share with you. So why don't we just generate our four prompts? 
So I am planning later to put all the prompts in tiny decisions because I think it's more fun that way. But for now, I'm just going to randomly generate four numbers on pretty random. So I have my uh, minimum as one, maximum as a hundred, and let's see what we get. First we have number five. Okay, so number five is something you don't want to pan, so we're off to a great start. <laughs> number two is going to be number 53. Okay, so 53 is a shadow that starts with a B. Our third number is going to be 52. And as you can imagine, 52 is a shadow that starts with an A. And our fourth prompt will be number one. Okay. <laughs> number one is a black shadow. So we definitely got a couple hard prompts. We have a black shadow and something you don't want to pan, but I'm going to go have a look through my collection and pick some shadows and I'll be back to share them with you. Okay, so I'm back with my shadows and that took a really long time. As you can tell, probably it's getting dark out. My lighting is going to shit, so um, I'm going to try and film this kind of quickly. But uh, yeah, it did take a very long time. It's harder when you get to pick your own shadow, that's for sure. <laughs> so um, going in order of how they were rolled in, first we have prompt number five, which is something that you don't want to pan. So I struggled with this one the most out of all of my prompts because I love eyeshadow in general. I love all colors of eyeshadow. There's rarely a shadow that I really hate. But my least favorite shadows, I would say, is neutrals. So I decided to bring in my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. If you've watched my previous years of this project, you'll know that this eyeshadow palette has been rolled in a lot into this project. So that's one aspect of me not really wanting to pan it. It's a huge palette. It's Morphe, a brand I don't support. A influencer I don't really support so there's a lot of reasons as to why I don't want to pan this uh, but this is what the palette looks like the quality of these shadows is actually pretty good compared to some other morphe palettes I've tried in the past so I decided to roll in a neutral matte as that's kind of my least favorite eyeshadow it's the shade I'm least excited about but I don't particularly hate neutrals I'll still wear them but um, let me just show you the shade uh, so I'm going to be rolling in this one here it's called silk cream it's a neutral leaning warm toned brown so pretty boring, nothing exciting. I do have some use on this shadow. As you can see, there is a bit of a dip going. So that kind of pushed me to pick that one out of this palette. But um, it is just one of the most boring shades in this palette that I'm not really excited about. But it is a shadow I can use easily. So I know that I'll be able to hit pan on this. And I will keep it in the project until I hit pan. So this is the first shade rolling in. And this right here is a swatch of silk cream. Okay, so the next prompt I pulled was number 53, which is a shadow that starts with the letter B. So I decided to pull out a frequent flyer from this project. If you've watched my previous years again for this project, you would have seen this palette a ton. When I first got this palette in my collection, it just started rolling in this project so much. I had three shadows from this palette in this project in years past. But last year it didn't get pulled into the project at all, so I'm going to bring it back. And that, of course, is my ABH Norvina Volume 3 palette. This is a massive palette with a ton of colorful shades here. So this is what it looks like. Uh, something quite unique about this palette is the way that these shadows are named. So you have it organized by rows and columns. So the rows all start with a letter of the alphabet going from A, B, C, D, E. And then the columns are numbered as in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
So I obviously picked a shadow from the B row here, um, seeing as though the prompt is a shadow that starts with the letter B. So I decided to pick this really fun purple here. This is called B4 and it's a matte obviously and it's just this really unique tone of purple it's kind of a pinky purple it's definitely warm toned and it's just quite unique in my opinion i don't have a ton of shadows that really have that undertone so i'm really excited to be pulling this one out now this is a shadow i don't know that i'll be able to hit pan on because these mattes are very hard to hit pan on they're not very powdery and they're very pigmented. And there is quite a bit of product in each of these pans. There is 1.8 grams in each shadow. I don't see myself hitting pan on this shadow, but you never know, I may surprise myself. So I'm going to be rolling in B4 for the prompt, a shadow that starts with the letter B. And this right here is a swatch of B4. As you can see, it does have that warm pinky tone while it's still being a purple. Okay, our next prompt was number 52, which is a shadow that starts with the letter A. So I decided to bring out my Adept Cosmetics Heather Austin palette. I absolutely love this palette. I think the shimmers in this palette are so unique. This is what it looks like. I don't have any pans in this palette and it's only ever been in a project for no pan left behind. And these shadows are very new to my collection. They don't really have any dips going or anything in them, but I did decide to bring in this shadow right here called Austin. It's super unique. It's like a really light blue, but it has like some reddish and orangish shimmer to it. It's just super unique. I don't even know how to explain it really. It's just so gorgeous and it makes a really pretty pop on the inner corner. So yeah, I'm just really excited to play with this shadow. I definitely know I can hit pan on it fairly easily because I've seen other people pan these shadows and they are very easy because they're kind of that malleable putty like formula but I'm really excited to work on this shadow and you guys know I had to pull in an Indies shadow and I had to pull in a beautiful shimmery sparkly shadow so this is my shadow that's coming in for a shadow that starts with the letter A. How many times can I say shadow? And that is what it looks like swatched out. The blue is not really translating on camera. It kind of looks like a white with a pink shift on camera, but there is like a strong blue base as well. I think you can kind of see when I do that, but it's just a really unique shadow and I'm so excited to focus in on it. I think this shadow might even have pan for our next update. And of course, our last prompt is number one, a black shadow. So I'm going to be pulling the black out of my Nomad Shanghai Yin Yang palette. It just made sense that I would pull from this palette because there is a black and I do want to focus on it. So this is what the black looks like in this palette. I have used it a little bit. It's called Moon and uh, yeah, I don't know how easy it'll be to hit pan on this shadow. I may roll it out after 15 uses, but you guys know I like to mix black eyeshadows with Duraline to make my own liquid liners. So that's probably how I'm gonna use this shadow. And that is a fairly easy way to hit pan on black shadows, I find. So I may surprise myself and end up hitting pan on that shadow. We'll see how long it takes. And there is a swatch of moon. Obviously, it's just your basic black shadow. So that's pretty much everything for this video. I'm gonna pop up a picture of what my current color story looks like so you guys can see a little better since my lighting is not very good right now. But thank you so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe. I'll have my finale for last year's project coming up soon. I just wanted to get this one up as soon as I could because we're already on the 9th of January, so I really need to get moving. 
and get this project up so I can start working on these shadows but definitely stay tuned for the finale for last year I'll have all my numbers there and yeah I'm really excited to start this project over again with Lainey's twist don't forget to check her out in the description box but I will talk to you next time bye